great win by our guys. I, you know, when we were down double digits, the one thing I thought our guys did, I thought our guys just kind of just stay composed. I thought uh, uh, Kobe's mental toughness fed off into the rest of the group, and just just going, just talking about the next play, the next play, the next play, because we had made mistakes throughout the course of the game. Our pick and roll coverage was horrible in the first half and throughout the third quarter. Uh, but we just kind of stayed with it, and our pick and roll coverage picked up, our intensity picked up, our physicality picked up, and we were able to put ourselves in position uh, to, to get a win. I mean, it was a great team effort. I thought the bench was into it. Uh, I, I thought we would have done ourselves a little justice if we would have made some free throws. It might have made the game a little bit easier and, 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 and to our advantage point. But. Uh, I, you, you go down the line, uh, Kobe, you, you know, I just talked about his mental toughness and his focus on the next play. I mean, he hit big shot after big shot after big shot. He did what he's supposed to do. The one-legged 40-footer to put us up for the first time was Kobe-esque. And, you know, it puts us up by one and, and uh, it, gives, it keeps the crowd in it and keeps giving us energy. Uh, his eight assists, it's a big night uh, finding his teammates. Uh, even every, all six of the boards that he got. Mike, when you consider everything you didn't have at the end of this game, you didn't have Meta World Peace, you didn't have Bynum, even though it was your choice, and you didn't have John Huster, who's been instrumental in drawing up big plays when you need big baskets. Is this your best team win of the year? This is a very good team win, you know, <coughs> being down double digits and uh, against a very good team when we could have folded easily. And yeah, it, it might be our biggest win of the year in terms of how the game unfolded and so on and so forth. Now, Coach, talk about uh, Kobe's defense on Westbrook. Kobe, you know, I, I mean, I'm glad you brought that up because his defense was phenomenal. Again, you, you just make a guy like Westbrook work, and I thought Kobe made him work all night. I mean, to look at the stat sheet, I got it circled right here to see that he was three for 22 from the field. Uh, I mean, Kobe worked his tail off, and you know, at the, at the beginning, of the game, really, our game plan for uh, for this game going in, you know, we we were going to put sessions on him to start, give sessions an opportunity. And Kobe said, no, I want him. I want to guard him. So when I have guys that say it with, with something coming from down here and I can feel that fire and that desire to take on a challenge like that, I love giving guys ownership. you know. And so I say, OK, that's great. You take them and says you guard uh, Cephalosia and we'll play from there. So he, he asked for it and you know, he made them work and uh, he did a nice job.